Okay, so just to give you a very quick overview of what um, what moderation actually is, then um, moderation at its most kind of basic is looking at the relationship between one variable and another. So that's kind of this x variable on y. So what is the effect of x on y? So does x predict changes in the score of whatever your y variable is? This will make a lot more sense when I get to your exact models in a second. That would be the equivalent of your straightforward kind of regression type approach. Is there an effect of this on this? So x is your predictor and y is your outcome. When we have moderation, we have this third variable, which we're going to call w. Um, the the labeling of this really all I've done is follow what is on process so you can call this anything you want but W is what we're going to call it um, today what we're looking for when we're looking for moderation is whether a change in this variable here so this can be a continuous variable or it can be a grouping variable with dichotomous variable whether that changes this relationship here so if you've got two groups it might be that in one group, you've got a significant effect of X on Y, where X is predicting Y significantly. But in the other group, you don't have that relationship. Now, what that means is that this relationship that you were initially predicting is contingent or dependent in some way on the value of this moderator variable. So in terms of hypotheses that you're, you're, um, you're thinking about when you're formulating your, your uh, paper when you're writing your paper when you're thinking about what your hypotheses are you'll have three different hypotheses for each model that you run you'll have the first one which is your main effect of x on y so um, a straightforward one would be is there an effect of personality on academic performance or something like that so what's the main effect if you ignore this moderating variable what's the general main effect of personality on academic performance as an example the next thing you have is your main effect of W on Y so if we say this is um, student sex for example so male or female what is the effect of student sex on academic performance do males versus females perform differently in their academic life compared to each other so that's your main effect you would then have the interaction between these two variables. So it might be that you have a main effect of, I don't know, conscientiousness on academic performance as a general main effect, but that's only there for female students, but not for male students. And that's where you've got that interaction. The effect of X on Y is dependent on W, on the value of that. W variable. 